these for sure because there's such a big coalition. <laughs> this isn't the mountain part. Right They'd be like, yeah. They're like, yeah, why didn't you do it right by? Okay, turning into Rhino Lodge. Oh, it's not a pretty sign here. Look at that. We are heading into Rhino Lodge. Hello. Hi, Hi how, how are you? you? Wonderful, it's been a great day. Yeah, fine. We're glad to be here. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, how's that safari? Fantastic. Uh, wonderful. Yeah. Couldn't ask for more. Everything everything was great. Yeah, no, it's been, been fantastic. Beautiful country. Yeah, Karibu Sana. So we are at the Nungora Goro Crater Rhino Lodge and we are going to take a walk around the, the grounds here and check things out, see what the restaurant's at. So yeah. here we go, mm -hmm. follow along. There's some water bucks just down there. Do you want to circle around? They have a nice patio and seating area. Yep. Um, we're gonna hang out at this fire. Yep, so there's an outdoor fire pit. So we're gonna have yep. a sundowner here at the uh, old Rhino Lodge here in an hour. Yep. So we're just gonna swing around to show the restaurant because the restaurant door is inside. As you can see, a plenty outdoor seating. And it looks like, did you say there was a fire in the pit in here inside? Yep. Yeah. Got up to go to the bathroom all night and glanced out and saw it was really hard to see but there were elephants right out back and so they slept in this area tonight last night. Saw a few of the big ones standing but a lot were laying down. It was a female group because they were young and older so that's how I knew it was a female group of elephants. It was just too dark to film it and uh, then they wandered off just a little bit ago, as you can see behind me, it's still dark out. Okay, so we're up top in um, Ngoro Goro conservation area, and we're gonna descend into the crater. The descent road is actually under construction, so we get to go down the ascent road and then back up the, the ascent, ascent road. road. Yep. And so you'll see right here the sign says. Greater Ascent Road, no entry. No rebels. But you can't tell us what to do. <laughs> but that's the exception <laughs> right now until they repair the other roads. Can't so. tell them what to do either. Yeah. I am tickled pink to see a circle. I know they're more night. Oh my. eating grass, just like our cats. Oh yeah, you are beautiful. I figured I might hear a serval, but I never expected to see one. I 
could have made money on me. <laughs> I would have been like, no. <laughs> You know, for the good. Spending the tracking on the front female. Those cubs be. That's only three months. That's three months. Wow. So a lot of babies this trip. Yeah. yeah, a lot of babies. I mean, so we just saw kitten Susan. Another mother with her two cubs, and then earlier we saw a pride basically. You know, the male, four cubs, the females. I saw the serval with the first cat we saw in the park today. So we're very fortunate with cats. Um, I was pretty intimidated by the male elephant that we saw. Walking like by it. Huh? It was that close. Yes, yeah, I know. The and then, uh, saw some jackals today. Hyena. Of course, all the normal zebra, wildebeest, a lot of water buffalo. Water buffalo? Not water buffalo, excuse me. Cape, bu Cape, Cape buffalo. buffalo. I was around Cape buffalo. Correct, Cape buffalo. I think I always think of them because they like water, but no, Cape buffalo. Yeah. But they like water. <laughs> <laughs> hippo pool area and there's some on the left where you see the log kind of on the tip there popping their heads up and down. I'm going to show you the beautiful vista here. As we make our ascent out of the crater, we stop for a final overview of the area before our long drive back to Arusha, heading back to where we started at Researcher's Rest. We will meet back up with a few new friends and take advantage of the outstanding hospitality of Eddie, Ben, and all of the staff. We will take the day to regroup and spend a few hours to edit some photos and video. Tanzania will forever be part of us. The animals, the people, the food, and the smells will be ingrained in us moving forward. I'm not sure if Tanzania is what we expected it to be, but it is what we needed it to be.
Friends have been made and stories shared. In reality, what stands out most is how similar life can be. We all have struggles, triumphs, and celebrations. We're grateful for the people that call Tanzania home and how they understand the importance of taking care of not only the animals that we've come to see, but the whole environment and ecosystem. Thank you, Tanzania, and all who have made us feel so welcome.